But Tristan Bailey's murder not only affected her family and her entire St. John's community, as we've been reporting, but seemingly also the judge who read Aiden Fucci's sentence this morning. Judge Arlie Smith said today in open court that this case was unlike any other he's presided over, and he offered the Bailey family some very personal advice. After two days of graphic testimony, Judge Arlie Smith told the court that Tristan Bailey's death was particularly troubling because the crime had no motive. He called it one of the most difficult and shocking he's seen in his career, even recounting the details of Tristan's murder, including her 49 defensive wounds. He also offered the Bailey family some personal advice. I um, have been through these types of proceedings numerous times. Sometimes family members hope or expect that whatever the sentence is, uh, that somehow or another that's going to heal or provide closure. And I just want to warn you that it's not. That's not how it works. No matter what sentence this court imposes today, it cannot heal you. I cannot bring her back. Judge Smith told the family they have a lot more healing to do, saying Tristan would want them to find joy and happiness again. Some of you testified to the, um, the fact that when you learned of her death, that part of you died as well. And what I would suggest is that you fill that void with her spirit and her life that certainly lives on through each and every one of you. Allow Bailey Sunday fun days to return to your home, allow laughter to return to your home, because in depriving yourselves of that, frankly, you're continuing, uh, it would continue to victimize Tristan, because that's not what she would want. She would want that happiness and the laughter to return and the joking between her siblings. That's what she, that's what she would truly want. The judge thanked the family for being patient with the court system and the long legal process over the past two years. He also told them they have to move through the stages of healing at their own pace. You have to try to let go of some of the anger that you still feel. I think that's a big part of this process for you. The judge also stated that the circumstances of Tristan's death caused an enormous amount of trauma to her loved ones and her classmates, which resulted in more mental health counseling than the number of counselors themselves in St. John's County. The judge said the murder of Tristan Bailey is one of very few cases that have had this type of impact on a community.